Hey guys, it's Joe with BitRaged here. We got a comment on one of our recent videos asking if we do a review of Singularity Net. Did some research on it. I like the project. I think it's unique. So I wanted to bring this to you and kind of discuss what it is and then you can make a decision whether or not you want to put some money into it and actually invest in it. So Singularity Net is attempting to solve some of the issues in the current AI space. One of those issues is a marketplace having a marketplace where businesses and companies and organizations and developers and really just anybody can go and really buy and sell AI exchange it there are different places that do this AWS is an example uh, Amazon Web Services they have machine learning and artificial intelligence solutions that you can go buy. Big question I had when I was looking at this is how does this differ from a place like AWS or some of the other solutions currently in the market? Would a blockchain change how this marketplace operates? Would it add a lot of value? And that's really something you have to ask. Pretty much every single company is adding the word blockchain to all their new projects. And so you have to question whether or not a blockchain is actually needed for a project. In this case, I think it could make a lot of sense, and I'll show you why. One of the problems with AI currently is there's no communication. There's really no way for AI to communicate data to one another. Um, everything has to be done manually, and it's quite expensive. There's no way to really find new AI services. There's not really a good way to judge the quality of the services without using them. Um, it's also expensive to use as they lay out here. It just costs a ton of money. Like Google, Apple, Facebook, Tesla, they're all heavily invested in machine learning and AI, but they have the best developers. They have the leading scientists. They have the best researchers on their teams. And the common person, a regular business, a regular organization is not going to have access to those resources and so Singularity Net is trying to change how we see and how we buy and sell AI. So it's a really interesting project to me. So Singularity Net was created by the people behind Sophia the Robot. I don't know if you saw uh, Sophia the Robot. It's essentially this human looking robot that is capable of some intelligent uh, communication, it can respond to you in some ways, it has some emotion, it can smile, it can blink. There's some facial expressions it can do, but really the interesting thing about this is that the guys behind Singularity Net understand AI. This is their business and that's what you want to see. You don't want to see just anybody going ahead and starting up something like this. You want to see people who actually understand what they're talking about. So one of the things that really struck me about Singularity Net and what I thought was really interesting is they're attempting to connect the mind of this robot, Sophia, to the Singularity Net marketplace and network. And what this would allow the robot to do is essentially learn from all the other AI processes. And so pretty much the whole network would be able to communicate with this robot in extent and so it could learn new things and it could take it farther. Now there's a lot of different schools of thought on the robot. Some people think it's creepy, I think it is kind of creepy, but you have to admire the tech behind it and look at where this is headed. So there's a couple interesting things that I want to note about Singularity Net. The founder here talks about the vision of being a product aimed at becoming a bridge between AI developers and users, like we were talking about. One of the interesting things about this is that it would allow for a lot of niche markets to open up with AI. Right now, it's the overhead cost to develop AI is high. To buy AI, it's really high. So this would cut down on the overhead, and it would allow people to create pieces of AI for very niche markets and create solutions for those markets that really wouldn't have those solutions otherwise because it's just way too costly. So I think that could be a real game changer and that right there 
is a lot of potential because once you get the common people, once you get developers and students and, and people like that building pieces of AI, you could see some really interesting things. So the other really interesting thing about SingularityNet is the potential for it to learn from other AI pieces on the network. So AIs on the network could exchange data, make requests of each other. And so essentially it could become a big network of machine learning, artificial intelligence that can learn from each other, that can extend each other, and the computers can talk to each other. And so that's really powerful in and of itself. AWS doesn't do that. No other marketplace does that. So that's really unique and it's something that can really utilize the blockchain technology and it really makes a lot of sense in this market. So this is their marketplace. It's the alpha. It's not anywhere close to being done, but I wanted to show you it and kind of show you what might happen in the future. So they have here some service offerings. They have facial recognition, image analysis, emotion detection, document summarization, and essentially with these things, you can go ahead and hire a piece of AI, like image analysis, for example, and you can go ahead and use this. Now, the real potential in SingularityNet is that potentially these could all talk to each other and these could communicate and maybe facial recognition could communicate with emotion detection and they could extend each other. So the white paper is ginormous. They have a ton of information here. Uh, they outline a lot of what they want to do. So I encourage you, if you're interested in SingularityNet, to definitely go ahead and read it. I'm not going to go over it simply because there's so much information in here that the video would be like 40 minutes. So I encourage you to go read that for yourself. But I want to focus on the vision that the founder has for Singularity Net and the future of AI. What strikes me with Singularity Net is it's one of the biggest visions I've seen in an ICO in a project. Some ICOs really have no purpose, they have no project. This is not like that, this is different. So I wanted to walk you through what the founder said and kind of kind of discuss it. So he talks about Amazon Web Services and he says that what they're trying to create is a decentralized marketplace more like a place like BitTorrent. So there wouldn't be any central person who dictates what happens on the marketplace, pretty much anyone can develop a piece of AI, wrap it in the API, and then get it out to the network. So again, that would just lower barrier of entry. It would lower overhead costs for developers. Now, with this, you'd have to have some sort of reputation system to gauge which pieces of AI are really good and which are really not that great and they're trying to as well. They're talking about that. So another thing I found interesting about SingularityNet is they're trying to build a system that places the AI layer independent of the blockchain technology. And so essentially what that means is right now they're using Ethereum, but if a better blockchain technology comes out, if a faster technology comes out, if it's updated, they can switch and the AI part of it is not directly linked. And so they can switch between whichever blockchain technology makes the most sense. So again, he's talking here about uh, moving the brain of Sophia the robot to the Singularity Net marketplace and network. And he talks about having some substantial improvements and progress towards that by August. So we could see this move along quite quickly. I think that the future is definitely AI and machine learning. And so if they can pull off the vision of this marketplace and this network that they have, we could potentially see this grow by quite a bit. So the ICO for Singularity Net has finished. They said they sold out within a minute. But if you want to go ahead and pick up some AGI tokens, you can do that on KuCoin or Tidex, EtherDelta or IDEX. We did a video on KuCoin, and if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check that out. If you're interested in signing up and picking up some AGI tokens. Where I see this going is I see this potentially easing us into mass adoption for AI. We already see some sort of mass adoption, 
for artificial intelligence, such as these examples. Uh, you got hundreds of hedge funds that are directed by AI engines that are trading billions of dollars in securities each day. They're doing really well at it. We see big companies using AI to process data. We see insurance companies using machine learning algorithms to make operational decisions. And we see the healthcare industry talking about deploying some AI systems for surgery and diagnosis and those kind of things. So we have a long way to go. AI is still in its infancy and a project like this could potentially change how a regular person, a regular organization, or a regular business interacts with AI and give the regular business an opportunity to implement some of these solutions. Anyways, that's going to do it for now. That's my thoughts on Singularity Net. I think it's a great project. I think it's an interesting, unique proposition. And if they can pull this off and really create a marketplace that people use to exchange AI, I see this as something that could grow by quite a bit. So if you're interested in it, I can encourage you to read the white paper. Again, look through the website, read the news stories, do some research, but I really like what I see of SingularityNet. I think it has a really solid potential. What could the price be by the end of the year? Your guess is as good as mine. Anybody that tells you they know exactly what any crypto price is going to be by the end of the year, they're flat out lying to you. But I see this as something that you could buy and hold as a long-term investment. I'm going to leave you with this chart that talks about the progress of computational power. And as always, thanks for watching.